Applied Fluid Library, which basically, what is this? Uh, does it mean that my recorder has crashed? What is this? Close program. Yeah, the record that recording piece has crashed. Maybe it was uh, too much. Uh, well, that's that's a shame. Uh, well, can't do much about that right now, I guess. Um, so we'll just continue with 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 what we have, right? So right now, what I can do with this window. I can minimize it. I, c I can try to, you know, close it. I can maximize it, maybe. And I can click these buttons that do, do nothing, but they respond pretty well, right? And everything seems pretty reasonable. Uh, so this FL run essentially puts our program in the waiting mode to wait for operating system to let us know that someone is trying to do something with our window. When something happens to this window, many things happen inside run. When we minimize and restore the window, it's going to be repainted. The beauty of the graphics library that we don't have to worry about it. Everything is done for us automatically. Um, also, our buttons don't do anything, but they respond. And again, this is all done inside FL run. To demonstrate, I will go here and perhaps uh, you know, start another demonstration. Let me just save that someplace. Um, objects. I really don't care. I'll just save it just in case if I need to bring it back. And say new. And do another drawing. So this is our program in memory. This is our program in memory. And when I say program in memory, it's really instructions that were compiled. Obviously, it has the main entry point. So the operating system loads the program into memory and calls main, right? So this is main. And main gets invoked, and it does something. So then main goes into FL run loop, this uh, provided by Fultech library, right? So it does into this loop, and it hangs there forever. Then what happens, it is, so the operating system is, you know, it's a graphical user interface with its all functionality. So the operating system over here is capable of telling our loop that something has just happened. For example, someone clicked a button. The window got minimized. And everything is processed here. So it means now that this graphical user interface application no longer technically has only one main entry point. Yes, it has it so that it starts the entire, uh, you know, uh, the entire program. But at the same time, it is already capable of receiving multiple notifications from the operating system about different events, right? For example, someone goes ahead and minimizes the window. It's processed by us. Then someone wants to restore the window, and it comes right back, right? Then it can be moved around. Well, that's another function where things are happening, and each time it gets moved, oh, I guess it just, re, you know, programmed to minimize all windows on the shake uh, thing. But when I move it around, it gets repainted every time because it gets painted in a new location on screen. So all this, believe it or not, is happening inside uh, a full tech library which already knows how to do all this. When we compile our code and when we say that we are using uh, we're using FL double window this particular class does all of this for us. Okay uh, so far we have some ideas about this. I hope. Right, so uh, I started another recording, never myself, so I'll just kind of try to, s to time it again. So this is what we have so far. The next step is to tell, to tell, you know, FLTK, which is part of what we did, FLTK, right? We want FLTK. Well, you know what? 
if someone clicks this button, uh, could you call our own function and let us know that it just has happened so we can do something in response? So the way I'm going to organize this to keep, to keep things simple is going to be this way. In my implementation file for the show member function, which of course we added to our own class, I'm going to say, um, and I'm going to basically peek at the syntax here, which I did, you know, my own homework. I'm going to say button start. I think that's the way I actually am button start. This is the way I called my button. Button start, and let me make it uh, larger so that it's all visible because there will be quite a bit of typing here. Uh, uh, we can say that uh, we want to uh, we want to but we want our button to remember that we want a callback. We want the button to function such that when someone clicks on you call our own function. All right to demonstrate I need to tell button hey, we want the callback. And uh, the, the way you specify the callback is that you have to say FL uh, callback. This is going to be a cast by us to this particular type. And we need to pro provide our own function named CB underscore uh, button uh, callback. Uh, now this is I'm just uh, typing anything I want uh, in this place but this is going to be the name of our own function which I'm about to add to our program so a uh, button callback and um, I am also going to say that when the when the callback comes when when it happens in if someone clicks on a button this happens this event happens when I am called, when I am notified by the operating system, and then obviously FLTK library is going to be notified, which is compiled with our executable code. When I am notified, well, you know what? It would be really useful when you call me, pass the, um, uh, pass the instance of my timer window as a parameter. So I'm actually, I am like re-entering my own class. So to demonstrate, um, I am going to basically just, uh, I guess what I can do is just say this. Uh, we'll see if that compiles. I will explain all of this in a second. All right. So similarly, on when the stop button is, a, is, is clicked, I want to be similar, uh, I want um, uh, 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 button callback, uh, let me say this will be button start callback and this will be button stop callback. Okay, two very similar things. Uh, then what I'm going to do in my class, in my class, I am going to actually grab uh, uh, those two button start callback and button stop callback and switch to my header file which is right here so far I have constructors and the de de destructor right so over here I'm going to declare these two functions just say okay I will have them as functions which should be invoked when the callback happens and I will use the signatures of these functions so that uh, what happens is that on a callback uh, what FLTK what wants us to do is that it will say FL widget will be passed to us widget FL widget pointer oh, I will call it just a, a button okay uh, so the actual object is going to be passed to us but in addition to this, a un, and sort of like a untyped pointer to user data is also going to be passed to us. Okay, and uh, very similar for this. And uh, the callback 
really doesn't return anything back it's just a void function a void function but of course when the operating system calls us and says hey someone click your button right it has no idea that we at some point created an object name named uh, a timer window and started do started doing some work with it it means that those functions those callbacks for us can only be called if the functions are static which means that uh, you can call our functions and they, they do not require an object but following the proper design guidelines instead of defining these two functions as uh, uh, you know some global functions someplace in some file I actually keep them inside my class but it's very easy for me to call them static functions which means that they can be called without any objects all right to demonstrate so this is still in our so I will say okay these are my callbacks right callbacks or callback functions uh, uh, there could be way many different things that I can do uh, receiving callbacks from the system because remember this window you know this application in general receives a lot of notifications from the operating system which deals with hardware which lets me know that hey something is really happening in here would you like to would you like to know but FLTK obviously handles everything but this is the way for me and especially when I go to my window and say hey button why don't you remember that I want you to call this function when someone clicks on you and so is this one stop and start and so I should be able to process it let me set this it's a shame that last time 